we have soft load to keep your workshop and tools dust free by using soft load now avoid using household dusting sprays because some generate a static charge that can damage electronics then we also have compressed air you can remove dust from delicate electronics inards with a shot of compressed air and you can buy compressed air in cans such as this one in this picture here you also have household cleaner uh, lightly spray household cleaner such as a formula 409 or a fantastic to remove stubborn dirt and grease from tools work surfaces and the exterior surfaces of your projects because these cleaners are water-based now don't use them around powdered circuits or you may short something out then lastly we have electronics cleaners or degreasers use only a cleaner or degreaser made for use on electronic components when applying uh, directly on parts and circuit boards and you can find the cleaner in a spray can and a bottle with a brush applicator now some electronic parts especially motors requires a certain amount of grease or oil to operate now be careful to not clean the grease or oil off these parts because they need it to function if you must clean a part that requires lubrication be sure to add a fresh oil or grease when you're done oil and grease to keep parts slippery electronics projects that use mechanical parts may require both initial lubrication and periodic re-lubrication case in point a walking robot the leg joints need a dab of oil now and then to keep things running smoothly whether you use oil or grease depends on what you're lubricating for parts that spin use a light machine oil such as the kind you use for sewing machines or musical instruments avoid using oil with anti-rust ingredients because these ingredients may react to plastic parts and it may cause them to melt and also for parts that mesh or slide use a synthetic grease such as lithium grease and you can buy both light machine oil and synthetic grease at any radio shack store and other electronic stores as well as many music sewing machine hobby and other um, hardware stores now a warning here is that some mechanical components don't require oil or grease and in fact some pieces can be harmed by lubricants certain self-lubricating plastics can actually break down if you expose them to a petroleum-based lubricant so unless you know for sure that a mechanical assembly or parts needs oil or grease don't automatically apply it if you're fixing some piece of electronic gear such as a vcr or cd player check with the manufacturer for instructions regarding use of lubrication and there are actually two main reasons to avoid spray on lubricants first is that you may have trouble controlling the coverage of the spray the spray gets on a lot of parts that you don't want it to reach and it makes a big mess. And then lastly, many synthetic lubricants are non-conductive. The fine mist on the spray can settle on the goodies that should make electronic contacts with one another. And if the lubricant interrupts that contact, your circuit doesn't work. Now remember, you should apply a lubricant directly and specifically to the part that needs it. Sticky stuff to keep things together. Many electronic projects require that you use adhesive for some time. For example, you may need to secure a small printed circuit board to the inside of a pocket sized project box. A dab of glue or other adhesive actually does the job nicely. Now, depending on the application, you can use ordinary household glue, epoxy cyanoacrylate glue, more commonly known as super glue, double-sided foam tape, or a hot melt glue gun. Now here's a rundown of the best uses of each of these adhesives. We have the White House Hold Glue, which is available on supermarkets, hardware stores, and home improvement stores. Household glue comes in small bottles and dries in 20 to 30 minutes. The glue takes about 12 hours to cure. However, White glue is actually best for projects that use wood or other porous materials. If you're using metal or plastic, opt for one of the other adhesive listed here. Then you also have epoxy cement. Now it comes in two tubes, 
to use uh, you use uh, mix equal parts of the tubes together and then apply the gawk to the parts that you want to stock together most epoxy set up in 5 to 30 minutes and cure completely in about 12 hours epoxy bands are strong and resist moisture then we also have cyanoacrylate glue bonds almost actually bonds anything almost instantly now these are known as i've said as a super glue now use it with caution because it can easily bond your fingers together and use ordinary cyanoacrylate glues when bonding smooth and perfectly matching parts make sure to use a heavier bodied gap filling cyanoacrylate glue if the parts don't meet hundred percent then we also have double-sided foam tape which is a quick and dirty method of attaching parts the tape works ideally in securing circuit boards to enclosures or making sure that loosely fitting components remains in place you can actually cut the foam tape to almost any size that you need and you can stack layers if you need to fill a large gap now be sure that you get the tape and the mating surfaces dry and free of dirt before applying the tape then lastly we have a hot melt glue gun now this uh, for the person who doesn't like to wait for hours for glue to dry slip in a stick of glue and turn the glue gun on then wait for a minute to warm up and then you can glue things with a drying time of only about 30 seconds 